everyone! So today I've got another new printer from my sponsor, Creality 3D. This is the CR10S Pro. I know, it's quite a mouthful. But we're not trying to get a reward for the name here. As a community liaison, I've been talking to the community and they tell me which feature they want and I report it back to Creality. And they have been working on it. We're talking back and forth. I tell them what they want and then also they're the feature I want. So I think this should be a good printer. Let's take a look. On the side, we have a spool of filament. Must be the toolbox. Now I'm going to remove, remove the foam from the side. Oh, okay. Well, looks pretty simple. Looks like I only need to put these two pieces together. But let's see if they have in instruction, I think. Yep, there is instruction over here. Okay, let's take a look. Okay. So as usual, there are some tools in here. USB cable, uh, power uh, cable, and spatula, spool holder, well, also the spool holder, some screws we need to attach this two-piece. And this one looks like a really good PTFE tubing. So let's get started. Now I'm going to put these screws on each side, the long one, and stick it up to the aluminum extrusion. I just want to show you the stepper wire and as you can see it's pretty easy it's on the side you just plug it in I just want to show you the setup of the extruder it has a dual drive wheel, so it grips the filament much, much better. And the whole point is this part is all metal, there is no plastic. Even the filament sensor is, is metal and it attaches to this part firmly. So compared to the old model, it's a much, much nicer and solid layout. You know, everybody has been saying that we want auto-leveling, we want auto-leveling. And Creality, listen, this one, this printer has auto-leveling, it has an induction sensor. 
but it just I just got this printer out of the box I just want to make sure everything is squared up so I'm going to manually manually level it first and from then on whenever you turn on the printer you want to use the auto level function you can do that but for now I just want to make sure it's square so let's do it this is the the interface is much nicer uh, from compared to the other ones so we go to settings leveling Okay, now let's go back to, let's turn on the auto-leveling and let's keep measuring. Okay, now I'm just gonna load some filament. So, when I push the filament in, the uh, filament sensor sends it and the LED light is on now. Okay, now on the display, let's hit refill and feed. So now the filament is coming out because the temperature which up to the our targeted temperature and this is more like a assisted uh, filament setting because usually I have to heat uh, heat up first and then to do this but when I just hit with fill the temperature goes up at the same time so I have this micro SD here we are going to try a test print but I gotta warn you first there is always this bug you have to, uh, they can't read the G-code file outside of the root. So if, but the test file is in the directories. So you have to pop this in your computer and you have to drag the test file into the root so that you can print it. But I think they will upgrade it in the next firmware. Now let's hit print. Okay, that looks nice. A few artifacts, but I can already see which settings needs to be tweaked. Overall impressive for first print. Here's a 3D body scan I have made. I accidentally broke the hand while I was removing the support. It is a very delicate, very tricky print, but it is not the printer's fault. It was just me being clumsy. And the CR10S Pro really handles it really well. Again, some artifacts on the side, but that's easily dealt with in the slicer. I don't think that's a hardware problem. If you would like your own little 3D statues of me, just like this one, you can buy one in my Shapeway store. The link is in the description box. Okay, once again, the usual disclaimer. Creality is my sponsor. That being said, they have sent me test printers that I would not show on my channel. If you see it here, that means I stand by it and think it's a good printer for the average consumer. The CR10S Pro gets a thumbs up for me. The issue is price. If you want a basic printer, don't have much money, but have lots of time to assemble and learn how to use it, I still recommend the Ender 3. 
If you want a larger printer, again with a learning curve, I recommend the CR10S. But if you want a better out-of-the-box printing experience, more reliable, easier to use, less fiddly, the CR10S Pro is absolutely your best bet. It definitely has the best quality prints and the least numbers of things to go wrong. It's the right printer if you are willing to pay a bit more for print quality and reliability. I'll put the buy link in the description box. Lastly, as most of you know, YouTube isn't very kind to creators these days. I don't make much off of ads and that affects how many videos a month I can post. Those of you who can afford it, your sponsorship really helps. And as you can see in my videos, I work hard and don't spend it on foolish things. Sponsors also get to see my new videos 7 to 10 days before everyone else and without ads. If you can't afford to sponsor, that's totally okay. Instead, please subscribe, we post my videos on social media and tell your friends. The more followers I have, the easier it is to get corporate sponsors. That's it for today. I hope you like this video. Remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it. I'll see you all next time.